Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, may sasagutan tayo na dalawang random at problem galing from algebra and uh, number theory. So kahapon, ang sinagutan kasi natin mga lodi is ano, uh, geometry trigo. So ngayon, combination naman ng algebra number theory. So sana may natut matutunan kayong panibago mga lodi. So ito yung mga problems natin. So sige, proceed na tayo. Number one natin is about mixture problem. 1 liter of water is evaporated from 6 liter of a solution containing 5% sugar. What is the percentage of sugar in the remaining solution? Okay? So, first and foremost, analyze muna natin mga Lodi. Paano ba ang ibig sabihin ng evaporated? So, ibig sabihin ng evaporated, so parang ano siya, nabawasan, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, so ang gagawin natin for number 1 is ganito. So, meron tayong 6 liters mga Lodi, tapos ilan yung percent solution niya? 5%. Okay? Nang sugar. So, tatandaan natin mga Lodi, ah, we will go back to the basic concept when dealing with mixture problems. Kapag ah, meron tayong mixture problem, dapat sugar plus sugar equals sugar. Sugar, ah, coffee plus coffee equals coffee. So, kung ano yung ginamit mong percentage dun sa una mong mixture, that should be used all throughout dun sa solution natin. Hindi pwedeng gagamit ka ng percentage ng sugar kasi gagamit ka ng percentage ng water. Hindi pwede yon. So, dapat that should be Uniform, all throughout. So, kung sugar, sugar, sugar. Kung water, 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 etc. Okay? Listen. So, 6 liters, 5%. Nagbawas daw tayo ng 1 liter of water. So, nagbawas tayo ng 1 liter kasi nga evaporated. Ang tanong, di ba this is sugar mga lodi? Okay? So, kung 1 liter of water yung binawas natin, ang ibig sabihin kasi ng 1 liter of water, that is pure water, 100% ng tubig yung binawas natin by any chemical means. So, ibig sabihin niya, hindi, hindi po 100% yung ilalagay natin dito. Kasi nga, dapat sugar. Sugar yung kinonsider natin. So, that will be 0%. Kukunin lang natin yung kabaligtaran by subtracting it from 100%. Okay? So, ganun siya mga Lodi. Ah. Hindi po 100% kasi dapat sugar yung gagamitin natin. Equals, so 6 minus 1, syempre 5 yung matitira niyan. Kasi nabawasan na nga. Tapos hindi natin alam kung ilan yung percentage ng tubig. I mean, ng, uh, ng sugar pala, yun sa remaining solution. So, ano yung magiging solution yan, Sir IG? So, that is 6 multiplied by 0.05, kinonvert ko na yung 5% sa decimal, minus 1 multiplied by 0 equals 5x. So, 6 times 0 0.05, kapag multiply natin, so this is 0 0.30 equals 5x. Solving for x, we have 0 0.06, or that is uh, equal to 6%, mga idol. Okay? Kung i-analyze din natin, ito yung matitirang percentage ng sugar. Kung i-analyze lang natin, kung reasonable ba yung sagot natin, that is reasonable. Bakit? Yung isang mixture na may 5% ng sugar, binawasan natin ng pure na water. So, kapag binawasan natin siya ng tubig, automatically, pag in-analyze mo, dapat mag increase yung percentage ng sugar. Kasi buong tubig, tu pure na tubig yung binawas mo eh. Do you get the point, mga Lodi? Okay tayo dyan? Okay. So, ang final answer natin for problem number 1 is 6%. Okay? Number 2. Number theory naman. So, sige, pwede nyo ito i-copy. So, ang gagawin ko lang, gusto ko lang na i-maximize natin yung space. So, I will uh, erase this, mga Lodi, muna. So, if you want to copy, you can pause naman. Okay? Or if you have questions, you can comment. Okay, number 2. Coming from number theory, what is the remainder when 2 cubed? Okay, 2 cubed times 4 to the 5th times 6 raised to 7 times 8 raised to 9 is divided by 13. Okay? So, kailangan bago natin to i-divide, alam natin muna yung concept ng Fermat's Little Theorem. So, that is yung FLT natin. That is A raised to P minus 1 is equal to 1 mod P. Sir IG, bago pa lang po ako sa number theory, ano po ibig sabihin yan? Actually, dapat congruent yan. Pero okay lang yan. Parang ibig sabihin lang kasi yan, na kapag yung isang number naka-raise sa P minus 1 in such a way that this is a prime, so automatic kapag dinivide yun, remainder 1. So, kung hindi nyo maintindihan mga Lodi, sa mas madaling paraan. So, magbibigay tayo ng example. So, kunyari, let's say itong A natin must be ano, any number greater than or any number. So, kunyari, uh, except 0. So, kunyari, A natin is 2. 
Tapos, i-divide natin siya sa 13. So, ibig sabihin yan, kung 13 yung divisor natin, 13 minus 1, that is 2 raised to 12. Kapag itong 2 raised to 12, dinivide natin by 13, ang sagot dyan is remainder 1, mga Lodi. Okay? Nakikita nyo yung logic? Kasi ayoko munang mag-introduce ng 1 modulo, pilalo na dun sa mga subscribers natin na wala pang background dun sa modulo. So, I will just make it in this matter, in this, uh, in this way. So, 2 raised to 12 divided by 13, that's remainder 1. Basta dapat yung piece prime. Bigay pa tayo ng example. Kunyari, 2021 raised to, uh, let's say, 16 divided by 17. So, alam mo na agad na dapat ang remainder niyan will be 1. Bakit? 17 is prime, tapos 17 minus 1 is 16. Automatic, kapag dinivide mo to dito, I mean, tong expression na to, or itong number na to by 17, the remainder is 1. Okay? Sige, balik tayo sa problem mga lods. So, burahin ko na muna to ha, or you can copy. Okay, so yung 2 cube, gagawin natin itong mga lodi na uh, 2 cube pa rin. Tapos itong 4 to the 5th, alam natin na ang 4 can be written as 2 squared, right? Tapos raised to the 5th power, multiplied by ang 6, pwede natin isulat as 2 times 3. Raised to 7 times itong 8 can be written as 2 cube. Tapos may raised to the 9 tayo. Simplify. 2 cube times 2 to the 10th. Kasi bakit? Uh, kasi bakit? Ano? I mean, using the tawag dito, power of a power, di ba? Parang ipaproduct natin yan. Naka-power siya, tapos may raised ka pang power. So, ito. Ito times lang natin. So, that is a basic rule in exponents, mga Lodi. Dito naman, so pwede natin pag -iwalain. That is 2 to the 7 times 3 to the 7. Tama, idol? Okay, tayo dyan. Multiplied by 2 raised to 27. Kasi 3 times 9. So, applying product of powers property, yung pare-parehas na 2, 3 plus 10, 13, plus 7, that is 20 plus 27, so that is 2 raised to 47, multiplied by 3 raised to 7, modulo, or divided by 13. Okay? So, ano yung pinakamabilis na paraan dyan, Sir IJ? Alam natin na yung 13 is prime, so dito muna yung tingnan natin mga lodi. Ito, mamaya na to. Medyo mababa lang naman yung exponent yan eh. So, alam natin na ang a raised to 12 divided by 13, ang remainder niyan ay 1. Kasi nga, yung tinuro ko kanina, yung FLT, 13 minus 1, that is 12. So, 1 to. So, maghahanap ka ngayon ng multiple ng 12 dito na mas mababa sa 47. So, di ba 12, 24, 36, 48. 48 malapit, pero yung mas mababa sa kanya, 36. So, ito, pwede natin itong isulat as 2 raised to 36 times 2 raised to 11. Bakit? 36 plus 11, 47. Nire-write ko lang to in a power of parang 12, multiple of 12. Times 3 raised to 7 divided by 13. Itong 2 raised to 36 can be written as 2 raised to 12 cubed. Diba? Power of a power. Multiplied by 2 raised to 11 times 3 to the 7. Ito mga lodi, kapag ito divide mo by 13, that is 1 already. Kaya, ito na yung magiging simplified form nyan. Okay? Tapos ito na yung magiging problema natin, 2 raised to 11. So, kung ako tatanungin, kung hindi kayo masyadong sanay sa negative remainders, what you can do here is mga ganito mga lodi. So, kung alam nyo naman yung medyo mabababang powers of 2, so pwede mo tong gawin as uh, 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 7th mga lodi. Times, etong 3 raised to 7, di ba alam natin mga lodi na ang 3 cubed, so medyo nag nagiging complicated na to, pero alam ko, makakayanan nyo yung mga lodi. Yung 3 to the 7th, Pwede nating isipin na ang 3 cube is 27. Di ba ang 27 is a power of 3? Ang 27, kapag dinivide mo by 13, ano remainder? That is 1. So, ano na mangyari dyan? Pwede ko itong isulat as 3 cube quantity squared times 3 raised to 1. Bakit? 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, that is 7. Okay? Kaya nasunod na natin yan, divided by 13. Eh, ito di ba ang remainder nito pag dinivide sa 13 is 1? So, magiging 1 na lang yan. 1 squared this 1. So, ito na lang yung matitirang tatlo. Ilan ang 2 to the 4th? 16. 2 to the 7th, 1 to 8. Tapos, 3 raised to 1, that is 3. Divided by 13. So, ito, pwede nyo pang paliitin, mga lodi. Parang pinapaliit mo lang siya ng pinapaliit. 16 divided by 13, ano remainder? 3. Ah, gets ko, Sir IJ. So, ibig sabihin pala, ang itinitira lang, ang tinitira natin, yung remainder po. Okay, tama ka dyan, idol. Yung remainder yung kinukuha natin. So, 1 to 8, kapag dinivide mo ng 13, so kung ayaw mo ng negative remainder, okay lang. 
So, ang 1 to 8 kasi, pag dinivide mo ng 13, ang sagot dyan is uh, 9, pero ang remainder natin is 11. Kasi 13 times 9 is 117. So, mag may tira tayo na 11. etong 3 kapag dinivide ng 13, so as is pa rin. Okay? So, ito mas madali na 3 times 11 times 3, that is 99. Divided by 13, kapag kinuha may remainder, therefore, the correct answer is 8. Pero kung magaling ka sa number theory, like alam mo yung negative remainder at saka yung ibang algorithm or mga technique na ginagamit ito, much better. Pero syempre, since nagsisimula ka pa lang yung iba sa atin, so yun yung mga basic muna. So just in case you have questions or clarifications mga Lodi, huwag kayo maya mag-comment sa comment section. Thank you so much sa patuloy na pag-support and sa pag-subscribe sa channel natin. And I hope you all the best. Magpalain kay Lord. And see you in my next match tutorial video. And bye-bye.